Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick little um, walkthrough on this code because this is super important and maybe I wasn't super clear, but you're not going to just take everything from the tutorial, copy and paste it into a couple of files and run it. Like you actually need to get this set up. The tutorial is there to just guide you to do this. So what we're gonna be doing, and you'll see this in the tutorial, there's two things that we're gonna be doing. Okay, so these are two files. The first file is going to be your sketch, and that's an INO file, and that's going to be in the Arduino IDE. Okay, so that's file number one that you'll need to create, and there's a template for, which I have right here. So that's file number one. File number two that you're going to need to create is a Python file. Okay, and that's going to be extension.py. And there's a template for that as well. And let me see if I can find that. That's right here. So this is file number two. And that's going to be an atom. And it's a Python file. And what we are going to be using, this is both software side in black. I'm going to use a red pen here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting this file, the Python file, and sending serial data serial and serial is just another way of saying we are going to communicate via usb so we are going to write serially to the arduino file from the python file to figure out which row and column we want to light up on your actual device which i'm going to use blue for the arduino ide is going to be connected to, it's going to send code to your actual UNO board. And your UNO board has two physical NeoPixel strips. So we have NeoPixel 1 and we have NeoPixel 2. And each one of these NeoPixels has eight LEDs. Let's make that a little clearer. So eight LEDs. And again, eight LEDs, okay? And what we're doing is we have one NeoPixel strip for our rows, and we have one NeoPixel strip for our columns, so row, column. And it's all going to start from this Python file here, which I'm gonna switch colors to orange. And essentially in this file, what we want to do is we want to figure out from this other Python file, which is out here, which is separate from this tutorial, which is our algorithm, our AI Python file. I forget what we have it called in, in the actual repository. It might be called checkers or something like that. But this file is going to figure out how the game bot is going to move. And once we know how it's going to move, we can send those that information to this file here, which we're working in the tutorial. And we can actually write that data to the sketch. The sketch will then be on this Arduino Uno so that we know what we're doing. And we're going to be connected via USB. USB. And USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, which we are getting data from. So the whole point of this project here isn't for you to just go through the tutorial and copy and paste these two files and it works. The point of the tutorial is to show you how this small part of the ecosystem here in purple, right here, how these two files actually are going to be sending our serial data to the controller so that we know which row and which column we want to light up. And all that information is going to be calculated from the AI when we run the game. But the point of this tutorial is to give you an understanding of how to even get this piece right here to work. So let's go ahead and I'm going to copy this. Hopefully I can. And we'll see if we can put it in here. If not, I'll draw. I'm just going to draw two more of those. So the point of this particular project or this tutorial is to get these two files working. You're going to have the Arduino file and you're going to be using what's called the serial 
library. So you can see inside of this Arduino sketch, we are going to be turning on an LED. So when we get data that says one, we want the LED to turn on and we want to print out that the LED turned on, but we are using this serial library. And this serial library, you can find out all the information on how it works in the documentation. So this isn't something that I make up. This is just something that I use. And as I'm going through and trying to figure out where the problem could be, you may want to go through and start reading this. So serial.read, what are we doing in serial.read? First of all, what are we doing in serial.available? So what does available mean? Well, available means we have to get the number of bytes available from reading from the serial port. And so we basically want to know, like, do we have information coming through? And if we do, we want to read it. And so part of this, this tutorial is to go through and actually look and piece together what is going on in these templates. Because if you don't understand how they, the templates work, then um, it's going to be really difficult to move your code over. And this is, some, this is just part of the process. It may sound like a lot of work, but I hate to break it to you. Like that is engineering. It is a lot of work. You have to sit here and you have to read through all this documentation. Just because you have a sample file doesn't mean it's going to work in your application. It's going to give you a starting point that you can use. And so the purpose of, of, of this activity here with these two files is to start sending information from a Python file into this sketch. So you're going to send information from Python to a sketch using a serial connection. You're going to have this sketch on your Uno controller and you are, you're going to need to wire up an LED or you can use your NeoPixel, doesn't matter, get an LED and you need to be able to control this LED by sending a one or a zero inside of of the Python, inside of Python term, inside of your terminal, once you're running this Python file, because see, when you read this code, it's saying enter a one to turn on the LED or enter a zero to turn the LED off. And so if you enter in a one while this file is running, then it's going to send over a one. So we're sending over a one. Then on this side, we are checking to see, did we get a, did we get a piece of information? Yes, we did. Okay, so we're going to read it. We've read it, it is a one, okay? We have a one now. So if data is one, is this true? Yes, it's true. We are gonna turn on this LED over here. And that's the process. Um, the other thing that might be helpful is as you're working through this Python file is the Python library. So anything that you use that's a library that's out there that's readily available to the public from a manufacturer, so usually like through the Arduino website or through Python or through any popular public library, there should be documentation on it. Now, if it's a hobby project, documentation is pretty shoddy, but if you're working on something that is publicly available, like this, the serial ports, using serial ports in Python, then you're going to want to read the documentation that goes along with this. Um, and you'll see um, in, this, in this file, we are using the serial mod module. So when we go ahead and we run this, let's see if we can run it, Python 3, you'll see that there's a trace back, there's a problem. And inside of this console, you'll see that it says the file in line one in module import serial, module not found, no module named serial. Well, there's a problem with this line of code. So inside of your terminal, it's going to give you hints as to what the problem can be. And as a programmer, it is your responsibility to use this information to fix the problem. Um, that's not, I mean, that's not, there's no way around it. Like you have to go through this process. It's just, it's part of the project you're working on. Um, and so my best recommendation for where you're at right now is to use this video as a way to troubleshoot your project. And most of the time, if you say, okay, great, no module named serial, you probably need to figure out what that means, right? So then you can go, you can grab that error, no module name serial. And, you know, Google is, is pretty good at, at getting you information now. There's so much information on this. There's a lot of programming. Like, here you go, Stack Overflow, no module name serial. Okay, so what do we need to do? Then you can kind of read here. 
Serial is not included in with Python. It's a package that you need to install separately. Since you have pip installed, you can use pip install PySerial. Okay, cool. So pip, and I think in, on Mac, it needs to be pip3, pip install Serial. Okay, now it's downloading Serial. Great, let's see if it runs now. Okay, trace back again. You know, and so what you're going to do is you're going to learn this process of going through. We've fixed line one. We're now able to go past line one. Now the error is on line four in module Arduino serial serial port. So right here, we got to figure out what is going on with this. And you just keep repeating this process. So because we're dealing with a problem with serial serial port, all right. Now we need to go and figure out what's going on with our ports. And so it'll say right here, you can figure out, do you have a port available? And right now I'll tell you, I do not have anything plugged into my computer. So there's nothing for it to read. And I will say that this, this file requires that you have a serial connection. And if you have no, nothing connected to serial, then how are you going to read it? And if you have, no, nothing listed in your port, then you're not going to be able to do anything with it. So one thing that I can leave you with um, is this is typically how Windows ports are listed. You can kind of go through this. It'll show you right here. You can list out all the ports that you have. And you're going to want your Arduino connected to your computer. I don't have one connected right now. So let's see, Python 3. And this command here will help us figure out what's connected to here. And it says, error finding module specifically for ports, no module, serial tools. Um, the easiest way to get your port is to just go into Arduino and go to tools, go to port, and whatever name is here, that's the name of your port. And you're gonna wanna replace that with here. And there should be a note on that in the tutorial. This is a Windows port, and in Mac, it's usually listed out as like TTY or whatever. Um, you can go into port, and you just copy over however it's listed here. All of all of the, the slashes and the dots and everything. You just copy the port over, and you put the name right here. And then you can test it out. And that's part of the process. So I just wanted to give you this little video here to kind of show you how to go through debugging things. Because as we enter in this next stage of the project, it's less about me giving you the answer and more about you working through the project um, and taking everything that we've been working on together and putting it together. And this is the model that we're going for. This is, this is what your project will be using. So you've got your AI over here. It's going to be feeding in the coordinates for what the AI wants to do. And we're going to just take that information and we're going to send it over and we're gonna read it through the Arduino, and then we'll be lighting up the different pixels. So hopefully this helps. You can rewatch this as much as you need to, and I will see you next time.